It's a cool, blimey, blistering up, crazy, cockle shell day. The world is my oyster in Whitstable Bay. Hot pickers, pot pickers, lolly lickers in winkle pickers, brilliant tin crimpers with shrimps and champers, floozies with picnic campers, spill out of stations and sharabangs galore as the sea champers the shore and the shingle lingers between the toes and the fingers of the tiny top and the steamer door. Where the wherries and the ferries fly the coast at sea salter, cod loins are caught between the groins by hook and by and bits and blokes and barnacled old soaks, the missus and the sprogs and their lazy dogs in tow, and my seersucker skin and blister, salamander pink with her diamond geezer, gather on the foreshore to watch the show. Muscle squares up to muscle, and at sundown, done in and dirty, the oipaloi can't go back to town. So much krill consigned to land. Trains no longer call at Seaton, disgorge the campers for warners like they did 50 years ago when our itsy bitsy world was ever so dingy. You in a lemon and turquoise bikini, poolside prepubescent goose and goose pimpled, the world in our water wings, wet dreams in clotted cream. We were 16 back when statistics were vital to stunners on the arms of sky. Now we sit flagons of otter in the anchor along the bay where mackerel boats tie up. The stream runs the high street and midships down to where cloaked in sparkle city schools rust beneath rock pools. And we northern crustaceans crab clawed and back boned hard regrets. There's an exhibition that David, David Bailey photographs on in the East End at the moment and I went along and uh, had a look at pictures and wrote a longer program which I'm still working on. But we were talking earlier about what do you do with the bits you haven't yeah. got home for, and I didn't want to waste this bit, so this tiny little bit is called Roots. Let the record show Dad hailed from Hackney. Mum, your very own Vesta, your Burlington Bailey from Bow. <laughs> Only one haiku has ever been written on the moon, and you all know it. So I thought I'd remind you of it. It's called Happy Landings. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, Armstrong said. <laughs> stalking, yes. Yes, here's a stalking poem. Um, it, it's, it goes back to the time I was stalking Sue Perkins when she appeared on Maestro, that sort of reality TV uh, program a couple of years back, conducting an orchestra. Miss Perkins, oh Miss Perkins, I shall worship you from afar. Save your shaven fingernails in a rusty kiln jar. Wax lyrical about your ear wax, for I have the ear of a star. Follow you home from the studio and stop. Does anybody here remember an American actor called Carl Malden? Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, good. Yes. Good. 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 This is called Get the Carl Malden Look, or the other title is Nose Cleavage. <laughs> We're talking the new cleavage. Forget page three or builder's bum. Today's hot proboscis is as plain as the nose on your face. Soon we'll all want one. Get the surgeon to carve it with pride. Sculpt with that scalpel. I slip down the middle. And one bump each side. He actually sued you over that. Yes, he did. Yes, yes, just before he died. Yes. <laughs> 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 Parasols in sitches, sangria in half hand, the fat and fecund kiss, groom and graze. Pedalos and flying bananas race beneath the cloudless, cancerous canopy of blue. 
We willingly conspire to this and doze beneath our carapace of factor four at 42, dreaming on a lazy death, not headlong like what lemmings do. Cheek to cheek with his speedo date, oiled up with his ruin. The Englishman, a raspberry mimi, wilts, all the while the metrosexuals promenade, basting in the searing sun, and two soggy vanilla cornets in a cocoa butter sea from Dewsbury, sip tea, and read the lady. On the Via Cayo, Canti Bay Canti. The Keats cat scat, out cats, the other cats out cat in on pity little lawns, but no dawn chorus, no cat or all four stores, Chevy's shit up. Keats cats are car carrying catacomb colonizers. The custodia catacani, tutti catalogori, sempre funzioni, catacomb games. Keats cats have impeccable combat credentials. They watch over all the late literati, castles, corso, car felipe, as they doze beneath their cypress canopy. Mystic mocks, mouse trousers, peace cats, once confronted, swiftly skedaddle. Shh. Now there's a couple from Berlin. Uh, the first one is um, at its Olympics. And we're doing so wonderfully well. <laughs> and today we were uh, only just beaten in the um, horsey stuff by the Germans. <laughs> yeah. So this is called Olympische Stadion Berlin. And where is it? Oh yes. Where else? Aping Nero, Teuton heroes, heads held high, crowned with the acorn thorns, presented by some Lorelei. A rallying cry we ignored at our peril, and we inherit as the meek inevitably do the scorched earth. Subs on the bench, the Matoff brothers showed the way. For one day at least, the world pretended they were mensch. <laughs> one about Marlene the Dietrich, or picture of Lily. My angel, why so blue? Who shall hide you? Who pluck those brows? Which frowns? Who tongue those curls? Who painted those lips? Who kissed them? Girls, this one now, we've gone to Marseille now, and uh, this is an homage to Joni Mitchell. You might notice a couple of song titles in this that you might recognize. Right, it's all for Joni. The foil drapes graze the terrazzo hennered with sand. Here in the palazzo, in the afternoon siesta of Scirocco days, as the shadows play and flowers lay lazy on the piano. An African wind is calling. Boats in the harbour are at anchor. Polish and Bougainvillea suggest the scent of summer. A silk dress dozes on the arm of the shades, and shaded from the street below, you, the outsider, incognito, on the espionage of our encounter. As the sun rolls over the summit of the day, Sits high and exhales all the way to the dark. I wonder, will you sit at the piano, promise to walk me to the harbour where the mulattoes meander and conversations spark? The wind is come from Africa. It carries the dusk through the pink hotel, wafts in the aloe vera. It is so hard to leave her. Mm. Ago, I've got a huge passion for cemeteries, and like so many other people, we're probably just dying to get in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there are seven cemeteries in London called the Magnificent Seven. They were created to cope with the ever rising numbers of dead following various plagues and other things and so on. What I love about them is, is the glorious, ridiculously ridiculous names that Victorians gave each other. So Eulalia Catamole was more likely to result in the demise of your dynasty than any kind of disease ever would have done. Um, there's one poem in the book about each of the cemeteries. I'm going to read you one about Highgate. And it's called Menagerist. Saved by the bell, 
So I hear tell they lie pell mell, head to toe, cheek to cheek, up the hill, down the dale, get to yell to tell the tale of stone, as he told of Alice and those acquainted with Mr. Dickens. It obviously served him well. Gonna rent me a real estate, a tomb with a view on Egyptian Avenue, where models of decorum and decomposure can dance around the cedar, perfect for the pilot arranged by Mr. Rosa. Snow drops on snow drops, where from the well of loneliness, finally the Marguerite, enough that hat, found fast friends to tend her, those who will not betray by bedding their wedding, as was the tradition in her day. Nearest to God lies Julius. His pigeons were only here for the beer. Marvel at the marvel, as no one else does today. Save for curious tourists who will forget the tall tales of Wallace the Lion. Two boa constrictors. Can you see them on the trolley? A penny a look, because there was no picture in any book. And slippery Woomwell paying handsome. Some say King's Ransom for board and lodging for his kangaroo. On the path to the gate, Jesus Christ, no, not him, the Druid son, and other boxes are stacked in a column bearing. Kathleen, love you forever. Three Japanese men lined up beneath Karl Marx, three Japanese men in coats from Marx and Sparks, and if one Japanese man accidentally carks, there's two Japanese men lined up beneath Karl Marx. <laughs>